1904, spring. Robert Oppenheimer was born in New York, and much like Hitler, Robert admired art. Probably because his mother was an artist. Apart from that, he loved literature so much that before becoming a scientist, he used to write his own poems. Robert could not live without nature, so he would often try to be under the open blue sky, laying on grass among little mushrooms before making big mushrooms. Oppenheimer struggled with his mental health, having depression and anxiety. However, it didn't stop him from finishing Harvard in only three years. Yeah, he was that smart kid parents compare their children to. Well, that's very impressive. Meanwhile, Japan underwent industrialization and militarization, known as the Meiji Restoration. But after those events, super polite Japan, after feeling its strength, started bullying neighbor countries. You're probably thinking, why this guy started with Oppenheimer's childhood and now talking about Japan? Well, because Robert Oppenheimer's invention, the atomic bomb, completely changed Japan's history. I don't like saying in 19 blah 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 because everyone is gonna forget the date anyways. In 1931, Japan invaded China, well it was called Manchuria back then. The world had some regulations, so League of Nations, only after a year started somehow defending China by recommending Japan to leave the mass lovers alone. I guess it was more kind of a warning than a recommendation. Yeah, but anyways, as a response to that warning, Japan just shut the doors of the League of Nations and left it forever. In 1936, they signed the friendship agreement with Germany and later with Italy. In 1937, the sinking of an American gunboat in the Yangtze River made the relationship of the USA and Japan even worse. Three years later, that friendship between Japan, Germany and Italy turned it into something more. Like three musketeers, they agreed to help each other in case someone attacks any of them. Constant torture of China by Japan led the US and the UK to come and try to help them. Not because Americans loved protecting the weak, no. The main reason was that if Japan expanded its territory in China, it meant the US would lose some good spots to trade and the place to have an influence on whole Asia from. Now let's go back to Oppenheimer. In 1921, Oppenheimer graduated from the Ethical Culture School of New York, at the top of his class, alright? At Harvard, he studied everything, from mathematics to Eastern religion. Also there, he made very important connections. After Harvard, he went to Cambridge Laboratories, and then studied quantum physics in Germany. A little later, Robert began working as a lecturer. Reportedly, he was really good at it. When a father, Julius, died in 1937, Oppenheimer became a wealthy man and married Catherine Harrison, a biologist, a divorcee whose second husband had been killed during the Spanish Civil War. <clears throat> yeah, I know, love is blind. In 1938, German chemists discovered nuclear fission. Let me explain it in simple words. Everything is made of little particles, called molecules. Every molecule consists of atoms, even smaller particles. We can't see them with our eyes. And the atom hides nucleus inside, like a yolk inside an egg. But the difference is that you cannot cook a sweet cake from the nucleus. To be serious, the German scientists found out that it is possible to artificially divide that yolk into two parts. When they do so, a great amount of energy is generated by the division in a matter of milliseconds. And now imagine how many atoms can contain an 8-foot-sized bomb with a weight of 10,000 pounds, which was detonated in Hiroshima, and even a bigger one called Fat Man. No, not Batman, Fat Man. Americans actually lacked an imagination here, I guess. This one was dropped on Nagasaki. 1939. Albert Einstein himself sent a letter to Roosevelt, the president, stating that they need to start working on atomic bomb. Otherwise, Nazis would invent it first and explode shit out of the earth. Three years later, Robert Oppenheimer was appointed to the Manhattan Project. This was the secret name for Atomic Bomb Project. America put many different sanctions on Japan because of the situation in China. In addition, the US sent a humiliating agreement stating that Japan would lose a chunk of its territory. But the Japanese, <laughs> they are people of honor, they declined everything and in 1941, December 7, at 8 am, planes with a red sun on them appeared out of nowhere and destroyed Pearl Harbor. 
seven ships were sank, 180 aircrafts were devastated. Most importantly, around 2,500 people were killed that day. The USA declared war to Japan. Claire, that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. Germany declared war to the US and so on. A war was still going. After working hard for three years, the first atomic bomb was successfully tested at Trinity site in New Mexico. And only half a month later, two bombs, the little boy and the fat man, were tested on a real field. Nearly 200,000 people died in two cities, instantly or in four months period, due to radiation. 200,000 innocent civilians and soldiers. Can you imagine that? Both cities were devastated. Six days after, on 15th of August 1945, Japan officially surrendered. After four years of a horrible war, the World War II was officially ended. Japan lost a lot of its grounds because of several agreements. J. Robert Oppenheimer was deeply affected by the destruction. He would always regret his role in development of the bomb. Later, he started promoting disarmament of his own creations throughout the world, the nuclear weapons. But laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. However, not everyone died regretting his actions, even though they were way more horrible. Watch the video about Adolf Hitler's life. Thanks for being with me.